Okay, so let's talk a little bit about keyboard shortcuts and tools. So obviously to edit something you're going to need, you're going to need tools. So the letter C key will bring up the scissor tool and that'll let it <clears throat> uh, let you cut an exact amount. If you drag across you can cut in, in exact slices since I have the, uh, the snap to grid thing on. Um, the next one is Command Z which will undo and then the important one I think talked about earlier is Command S to save. Just save a million times to make sure you don't lose your work. If you double tap one of those keys, let's say I double tap C, that's going to bring in the scissor tool and basically keep it there. Double tap the M, that's going to be the mute tool. Um, and then if you double tap A, that's the arrow tool or back to our normal, normal one. Um, so um, we've got a couple other ways of, of sort of zooming. Um, you've got you've got the ability to zoom over here with this button. It'll bring you kind of in and out. If you put it over top of the wiper and swipe, either way, that'll zoom in and out. And uh, <clears throat> and if you hold Command and then one of the arrow keys, um, either left or right, that'll zoom in or out. So there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Whatever way you know feels comfortable for you. Um, I end up using the wiper a lot because you can zoom in small sort of increments and get the grid set to the size that you want. Um, <clears throat> so um, that's pretty much the way. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the way the tool thing kind of works. Um, to pull up the tool that you need, you can just tap it. Um, you can also go to Studio and Tools and have the palette up, but you'll sort of discover quick that moving the mouse to go grab what you want gets uh, gets tedious. Um, you can uh, you can zoom the wave uh, the waveforms inside each one to be able to see it a little bit clearer. It doesn't edit it at all. It just makes it larger so it's easier to see. So you know it's easy to see that this one is not lining up on that beat and this one's not lining up on that beat. That one's pretty good. Um, you know that, that'll give you the ability to see that real quick. Um, <clears throat> and uh, and to to change the size of these, you can just grab that and 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 edit it like that. So um, if you click on this area over here, um, if it's closed, it's just the little uh, thing that says expand and it gives you the option to pull up certain things. I keep the conductor track open all the time for when, if you if you want to select something, select a bunch of tracks to delete or something like that. Um, would be careful if you've got like some marker points in there if you're going to delete something. Make sure you click directly on it. Don't like highlight like that because right now I've actually selected all of that and then if I hit delete it deletes the marker points and all that stuff. So command Z will undo that. Command S to save again. Um, <clears throat> To change the name of the markers, um, <clears throat> so the marker points are just these this little gold arrow over here. You just drag that in and drop it, um, and that, uh, if you click on these points, will let you hop around quickly, uh, navigate a large, large project quickly. Um, to change really the name of anything, you hold Option and then click on top of it, and then you can change what it's called. Um, you can name it whatever, whatever it is, and that way you can keep track of it. Um, moving along, a lot of times you're going to want to assign certain colors to audio tracks that way you can keep track of which ones you're working with. So I'm going to change this first one to, to my, like let's say it was me, and then uh, Pete. And I held the option button and then clicked on it to get that to do it. Um, if you grab there and drag down, that means I just selected all those. So let's say I want to change these two so that they're guitars. Then I just hold T for temporary, like a temporary group. Then you can change the color. And then uh, again, it'll hold T. And you can make it any color. And then that way now it's color coordinated. So it's easy to visually see that. And then if you click on the mixer tab and go to the mixer, then that color coordination is there. So when you're in the mixer tab, if this little extra option isn't open, it's just the expand button. Uh, it's just like a little menu thing. And then that way you can have open just the track that you want to have open. Um, same thing if you want to rename, you can do it from here as option. If you want to change the color, you can do it here as well. It's the control button. Um, so there's a million different ways of doing things. I'm going to quickly try to do go over track groups.